They were invented in 1930 by a person whose last name was Rife, how they like to name things. And this guy had Lyme disease, and he was an electrician. My dad was a, a like electrical electrician. <laughs> <laughs> he was an electrician, but he specialized in things that made little waves and gauges and all kinds of stuff. And I look at these things on the website that sell them, and that's what they look like. Like, like you need to be an electrical engineer. Engineer, that was it. <laughs> that makes more sense <laughs> to understand these things. And it seems there's one that's a little more user-friendly, so that's probably where I'm going to try to look first. But what he figured out um, by taking taking blood out of himself probably and it had the spirochetes in there and if he hit them with an electronic frequency that they would vibrate and die and what my understanding is I bought a book by somebody who supposedly knows something about right machines so only one available so I read read most of it and um, he, he's a proponent but he's still not well I mean and he wrote this book 10 years ago so I don't know that that's a cure either it is something you can own in your home and you can have it and use it it does multiple things it doesn't just kill Lyme it helps you with with detox it'll run a scan supposedly of your body and tell you what needs to be treated you could set it to treat Epstein-Barr for example which I know I have suppose I'm going to say supposedly <laughs> I don't know but you know and I'm going to have to find out a little more before I can convince my husband to spend five thousand dollars on one <laughs> 